Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on CMG, SKX, NKE, and TWTR on the daily and weekly time frame. So CMG forming a bearish candlestick on Friday and closing near the low of the day. So we're looking at the middle Bollinger Band support on Monday of 411.69 and the 200 day moving average is 409.08. If we see another red day on Monday, that will confirm this bearish reversal candlestick and that will indicate that another lower high has been set on the daily time frame and we'll be heading back down to the low $400 area. What stands out on the weekly is the third rejection in a row from the 50 week moving average resistance. Very clearly this resistance is tough and standing in the way of the bulls. It's at 419.46. And next week, it's going to be likely around 416 or 417. And as long as that stays resistance, the bulls are not going anywhere. So a close above that level on the weekly will indicate strength short term. And otherwise, we're looking back down towards $400, which lines up with the weekly middle Bollinger Band support. SKX, huge gap up, really strong move, an upper wick with a little bit of profit taking, but not significant compared to the amount of upside we saw. So a nice laggard where we saw NKE full on breakout mode three days in a row. And SKX in the same sector, seeing a big time gap up and a break of the high that we saw back in early December. So big time turnaround for these overall still very bearish on the downtrends. Let's zoom out and get a picture of these bigger downtrends. But clearly on the daily time frame, there's a lot of bullish momentum on these names. So what we have now here on SKX is our higher low and now a higher high. But in order to break this downtrend on the weekly, I'm still looking up at 3271 and we are still... $5 below that level, that's about 14% from where we currently stand. So even though we saw a huge move, the bulls still have a long way to go to break this downtrend that we've been in for the past year and a half at this point. So a perfect bounce off the 200-week moving average support. We've bounced off that level. Let's actually zoom back in. Look at, look at the reaction to this 200-week moving average. Very similar. We bounced off of it at the low of this week back at the end of November. Huge bull break. Bounced off of it at the low of this week. Huge bull break. Upper Bollinger Band weekly is resistance. So 28.50 is resistance. And then we're watching 32.71. And if we see a quick bull move with little consolidation up to those levels, it will be a top fishing bearish entry opportunity. Same thing we're watching on NKE. NKE bulls are still in control with increasing bull volume. Closes above the upper Bollinger Band. Gap and continuation. And on the weekly time frame, to break the downtrend, we're watching 59.95. So anything lower than 59.95 is a lower high on this longer term weekly downtrend and keeping that downtrend intact. So same thing, if the bulls continue this strong move and run up to the upper $50 range with a little consolidation, we will be scouting a top fishing bearish entry because the exit point will be so clear. If we break the lower high pattern on the longer term downtrend, we know to get out of any bearish positions. So as of right now, obviously with the market at all time highs, we are seeing bulls favoring a lot of momentum, even in these overall bearish downtrend names. So an ideal scenario to be scouting for some bearish entries here would be and would be for these names to head to these resistances with little consolidation and for us to see some consolidation in the overall market, which we haven't really seen since the election. We haven't seen any significant consolidation since the election back at the end of 2016. Twitter bearish continuation in a big way, gap down, close at the low of the day and an all out dump. And after two gap down opens, if we see a gap down open on Monday, we'll be looking for a bullish reversal because that is a three gap down bullish reversal pattern. It indicates that the bears have exhausted themselves to the downside and we'll be looking for a short term bounce if that does indeed play out. I'm looking at support of 1569, which we actually lost 
So we're looking at 1546 and then down towards the all-time low in the $13 range. So a gap down open on Monday means to start watching for bullish reversal candlestick signs to form on the daily time frame for a short-term bounce. But overall on the weekly, very clearly, with lower highs and lower lows, the bears are in full control of Twitter. And the daily time frame RSI is still yet to be oversold. But the hourly RSI at this point certainly oversold with these two huge gap downs in a row. Weekly time frame, bearish. So that's what we're looking at heading into next week, the shoe sector. I know that's not what it's called, but that's my joke for the day. The shoe sector is on fire, short term, long term, still in a downtrend on the weekly. We have key resistances to be watching. CMG, bearish short term, rejecting from the key weekly resistance, the 50 week, very clear. And TWTR, bears in full control, but scouting for a potential oversold bounce, especially if we see a gap down open on Monday. I appreciate you watching and hope you have a great weekend. See you Monday.